good practice for what's to come. All right, those higher elevations definitely getting the snow this morning. Fox 13's Lexi Johnson is live at Kimball Junction. We see that snow coming down. It looks like it's been pretty steady out there, Lexi. Yeah, it really has. It's been coming down uh, for the last hour, hour and a half or so. Luckily, it's, it's lighter, so you know it's not too bad, but that snow continuing to pile up here in Park City. Lots of it fell overnight, so people waking up to uh, some fresh powder this morning. The good news is not really impacting Parley's Canyon that much, uh, not sticking to the roads as much. They are a little bit slick, so you may want to be aware of that if you are driving up and down the canyon today. Visibility is also just not the best with the snow falling down, um, but overall snow not impacting the roads too much up here in Park City. It just looks really pretty, so trying to enjoy it, even though I know some people don't like the snow, maybe not ready for it just yet. It's here, so I guess we uh, we should just embrace it. For now, we're live in Park City. Lexi Johnson, Fox 13 News, Utah. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Lexi. Well, more than 11,000 customers are without power in Utah right now. We've got a live look at the Rocky Mountain Power Outage map, and you can clearly see the bulk of the issues are around the Hiram area. Dugway schools, we're told, will have a two-hour delay this morning because of poor road conditions. They said school will end at the normal time. Dugway police are also urging people to work from home if that's possible. We're getting lots of great pictures and videos from viewers. This clip was sent to us by Skylene Adams. She says it was taken in Richfield, and as you can see, some limbs down. We've been seeing that all morning long because of the weight of that snow. And take a look at these pictures. They're coming in from Jane Crabtree. This is in Parowan. So Parowan got quite a bit of snow. She took out her measuring tape. Six inches of snow at her house on October 12th. So continue sharing your photos with us to the Fox 13 Facebook page. We love to see them. You guys are our eyes and ears. Thanks for sending those in.